What's going on everyone? Manuel Sanchez here with you guys and today I'm going to take you through the 10 steps of the home selling process. I feel like there's a lot out there for the first time home buyer but not necessarily for the first time home seller or someone who hasn't sold in 5, 10 or 20 years. Because let's be honest, it's not every day that you're on the market to sell your property. So let's kick this one off. <laughs> Step number one, the initial interview. By this time, you have already decided that you wanna put your house on the market and have an idea of how much you wanna get for it. You either have an agent lined up or you start the interviewing process for your listing agent. This is where you choose the agent and agree on setting a price. Step number two, the listing agreement. Here, you will agree with your realtor on commissions paid, length of the listing, go over disclosures, let him know what appliances are staying and which ones are going, and reviewing the listing agreement. By this time, your realtor should start going over the next steps, which leads me to step number three, getting your home ready for market. In this step, your realtor will recommend any repairs be done, like painting some walls, fixing some holes in the wall, changing some dirty light fixtures, Yes, dirty light fixtures. Believe it or not, buyers do look at these small things and they can make a big difference. And while you're doing these repairs, why not declutter the place? You're already planning to move out. Why not get the excess furniture out of the way, put it in the garage. One, it'll make it easier for when you move out. And two, when the professional pictures are taken, your place will look a lot bigger and nicer. On a side note, if you are selling an empty house, make sure to talk to your realtor about staging it. A stage home will be a lot more appealing to a buyer. Step number four, promotion. In today's day and age, it's important for your realtor to have a good and specific marketing campaign for potential buyers. By now, he has professional pictures taken, cinematic footage all edited, and now it's time for him to show the world your home. By this time, he should be flyering the community, announcing open house dates, geo-targeted ads towards potential buyers looking in that area, as well as promoting everything on social media. This is, this is huge. Social media is like, it's huge. He will input all this information into the MLS, which the MLS will feed all of it to websites like Zillow, Trulia, Homesnap, Realtor.com, et cetera. This is important because 50, according to the National Association of Realtors, 51% of home buyers find their home through those websites. Don't worry guys, we are halfway there. By this time, your home should be running at full steam. By no means should your realtor be laying down waiting for offers to come in. Your home should be listed absolutely everywhere. Whether it's social media, online, websites, MLS, flyering, everything should be done. You should be getting phone calls, or a realtor should be getting phone calls for showings on your property. So make sure to leave a good and nice open window for, for other realtors to bring in their clients so they can view your property. Step number five, receiving offers. Home sellers, you're back in the saddle. It's time for you to decide which offer you wanna take, which offer you wanna counter, or which offer you want to negotiate. Now, it's not always the case, but usually the first offer tends to be the best one. And remember, you don't want your house staying on the market for too long. Step number six, you accept an offer and open escrow. In this step, the buyer's earnest money should be deposited. This is the collateral the buyer puts down when making an offer on your home. Think of it as a buyer's good faith in the transaction. Step number seven, home inspection. Your home will be inspected by a professional and typically the buyers will ask for a request for repairs. Now this is only a request. So as a seller, you do have the option to decline it because the request is just too big, like asking for a whole new roof. You will resolve it by offering them a credit at the close of escrow, or you will simply take care of all the repairs. Step number eight, title insurance policy. As a home seller, you will pay for a title insurance policy issued to the home buyer. This is basically you proving that you have nothing to hide. No liens or judgments filed on your property. So you provide a clear title to the home buyer. Step number nine, home appraisal. A home appraisal, it's a true or fair market value of your property. So it's important that you and your realtor price your home accordingly. 
accordingly. If the appraisal comes in lower than your purchase price, then you will have to lower the price of your home. The bank will not lend the buyer more than what the home is worth. And honestly, no buyer wants to overpay for a property. Now, there are some one-offs where the, bio, the buyer will bridge the gap from the loan to the purchase price. This is typically when the home is built by a famous architect or designer or whatnot. But thankfully, you chose me as your listing agent. So the home appraisal came in at purchase price. Time to smash that like button. Step number 10, you made it. It's closing time. No, I'm just joking, but honestly, it is closing time. You sign documents, you receive your net proceeds, and you turn over the keys. Congratulations, you just sold your home and are free to run the street for your next play. Well, actually, you, you should already be working with a realtor and finding you your, your next home. But anyways, if you made it this far, please subscribe. If you haven't, then, then, then why? Just subscribe and hit the like button. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.